So it's been an amazing trip. But for you guys at least, it's not over. I have videotaped many other things that I haven't shown in these vlogs. So in the upcoming days, you'll be able to enjoy some larger locations that I visited on this Florida trip. For now, personally, I'm gonna to have to leave the state of Florida saying goodbye to this beautiful state of sunshine. Goodbye, oranges. Goodbye, baby gator. Goodbye, giant 13-foot alligator. Goodbye, gator heads. Goodbye, shell people. If there was only some way to take a little bit of Florida home with me. All right. Get some canned Florida sunshine. Now, I've heard of Southern Bells, but I've never heard of Southern shells. That, that's pretty funny, actually. Civic pride. Every town, every village wants something that makes them stick out, something that makes them identifiable, something that makes them not just another dot on the map. A lot of towns will embrace something unusual, something different, or something special about themselves. And here, in Ashburn, Georgia, they celebrate the fire ant. The fire ant capital of the world here in Ashburn, Georgia. They actually have a fire ant festival. They put the date here. Every, every fourth weekend in March, there's some of the great fire ants of Ashburn. I would say that fire ants are a fairly maligned species. You know, bees sting us, but we, we get along with them because of the whole honey thing. Uh, ants bite us, and, and we get nothing. We get nothing out of the deal. So, yes, it may be unusual. You know, this isn't like an apple festival or, or, or something that, you know, people enjoy. We celebrate, uh, here in Ashburn, we celebrate the fire ant, the, the bug that loves to burn us. Oh look, there's some of Ashburn's finest right now. Don't get me wrong, Ashburn, Georgia truly does have something to be proud of. And that is the world's largest peanut. Look at that. Right along the freeway, 75 here. Truckers and other tourists and drivers can bask in the glory of this amazing sculpture. into this small town of Cordell, Georgia, and I am in the parking lot of the Gas and Go. And what sort of things do you normally find in the parking lot of a gas station? You'll find garbage, wrappers, dead raccoons, spilled gas. But in this, in this gas station parking lot, you'll find something much more impressive. You'll find a nuclear missile. Look at that. This is a Titan I missile. A missile used to deliver nuclear explosions. Just sitting here, sitting here in this gas station parking lot in Georgia. Now this helpful plaque here explains some things about the missiles. It's uh, been retired and was placed here 1969. What the plaque does not tell you is that this used to have, they used to have a sign here that referred to this as the Confederate Air Force Base, that this was called the Confederate nuclear missile. The implication, of course, being that there would be a second civil war that would be engaging in nuclear war with each other. Really horrible uh, dystopian view, a, 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 a civil war in America 
with nuclear weapons. Uh, let's just let's cross our fingers because uh, we get yeah, we, we don't we don't we don't need that happening. It's so on the way home, finally back in good old North Carolina, heading up the mountain, hoping that um, my clutch doesn't blow out this time. I think I will forever get nervous uh, as I as I head this way home uh, from now on. So um, we've had a good trip here in Florida, and I'd like to get some feedback from you guys. Um, you know, I've hit, I hit 100,000 subscribers while I was out on this trip, which is a massive uh, goal for me that I finally accomplished. Um, so I just want to, uh, you know, you tell me what you liked about the trip, what you didn't like. Um, you tell me what you'd like to see in the future, uh, what you wouldn't like to see. Of course, not everyone's going to agree. There's no way to make everyone happy. But I'd, I'd like to get, you know, a feeling, get the pulse of, of kind of, how am I doing? You know, um, people donate uh, contributions to Patreon. Um, people give me advertisements with their views. People uh, buy T-shirts. So, so in a way, the people that are watching are investors, investors in what I'm doing. And I, you know, I, I need to stay true to myself and true to the the, the nature of this channel and what I want to create, but I don't mind taking advice and guidance uh, from people that watch it. So tell me what you like. Tell me what you'd like to see more of and what you'd like to see less of. And tell me, tell me if you like this new hat. I don't know. I sent a picture to my wife and I don't think she liked it. <laughs> Anyways, um, we're gonna, it's a little bit while till we, a little longer till we get home. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this trip and uh, we'll put this one in the bag.